What's up, Concert Addicts? Johnny Kinslaughter here with Concert Addiction with a tour announcement, a good tour announcement. Yesterday we had a bad tour announcement. We talked about High on Fire having to bail off of their tour that was uh, supposed to start like today or tomorrow or something. Today a whole bunch of artists have announced tours for the new year. And uh, so I'm just going to start making videos talking about them. The first one I'm talking about is by one of arguably the most popular country band in the world right now country in quotes because a lot of people like to argue that they're not country um but their tour address their name of the tour which i'm guessing is the name of them up of an upcoming album also addresses that it's a florida georgia line with their can't say i ain't country tour they announced today and i'll get right into some of the details on it they're going to be touring with dan and shay morgan wallen kane and smith and hardy and the tour is going to kick off in june in arkansas and it won't wrap up until the end of september in california uh, along the way they're hitting denver salt lake city uh tampa chicago syracuse uh boston all the main places really dallas it's going all across the board and unlike some of the other tours we're going to talk about today this one's pretty expensive not just as far as distance travels but a tour running from june to july or June to uh, September, rather. Uh, not too many of those have been announced as of yet. This is one of the biggest ones so far, anyways, that has been announced. It's a full summer track. And uh, Florida Georgia Line's the band to do it. They're hardworking dudes. They tour like crazy every single year. And so it's no shock that they're uh, touring again next year. And they always come through my area. I think they hit a lot of the same places quite frequently, but it's because they have success there. So uh, no beef with that. Uh, one of the last times they came through my area, they actually set the attendance record for the entire state. So I love to see these guys still on top. It's impressive that uh, since they debuted around uh, 2011, 2012-ish, as I remember, obviously they were a band a long time before that, I think like 10 or 15 years before they broke it big. But since then, let's say it was 2012, that was only seven years ago, and They've already done stadium tours and played a lot of big shows and, uh, yeah, set attendance records in my state. So, you know, this show's still going to do well because they're still pumping out quality music that people like. Uh, even if you don't, there's no arguing with their success. That's what I always say about Justin Bieber. You might not like his music, but if the dude can sell out a football stadium, there's something there. You at least got to respect that. Uh, their support on this is fantastic as well, and that's another part that makes up uh, a, a good part of their tours. Uh, most most of the time when they tour, they have very strong supporting acts, which only helps enhance their performance, and it actually opens the door for some of these uh, younger unknowns or up-and-coming artists because Florida Georgia Line, like I just said, is going to sell out the show even if they have nobody opening for them, my prediction anyways. So the fact that they bring all these other guys along, it just seems smart. Plus, it makes like a whole night type of thing. Because usually you go to a concert and you get like uh, one opener, maybe two. A uh, two hour long concert usually. But when you have a, a band that's this big, that tours with this many other bands that are pretty established as well, this is going to be an all night party. It's almost like a mini festival as opposed to a concert. And so I have no problem with that. Uh, the next one on the bill, though, on this uh, lineup, I guess, for this tour is Dan and Shay. So they're going to be the direct support. And uh, this might, I've made this prediction about other bands in the past, and I've ended up being incorrect. But I'm going to make it again anyways. This might be their last time touring in support. They've had, they last year they had uber success with the song Tequila and uh, a couple other songs as well. I can't remember what their latest one is, but they hit they hit uh, platinum with a couple songs. They they they're just they're really good. That's all I could say. And it's that pop country stuff. Whatever. Some people prefer the traditional sound, but a lot of people prefer these guys. And I saw them two years ago. They played at the college here, and uh, it was a fucking fun show. They they don't look country at all. So, I mean, maybe that's why people uh, complain about it. Uh, but they're really talented uh, songwriters also and uh, performers. They're just real intimate with their crowds and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I think this might be one of their last times opening on a tour anyway. So 
It'll definitely be cool to see that. Morgan Wallen and Kane and Smith are also tagging along. They'll probably each get about a half hour set. Uh, maybe shorter, maybe longer. They both each got a couple songs on the radio. I'm actually surprised that uh, Morgan Wallen is listed above Kane and Smith because usually how they advertise it on their on their poster, which is what I'm looking at here, uh, it's the order in which they're, they will perform. And either they know about some hot shit that Morgan Wallen has cooking or uh, maybe I'm just out of touch because from my understanding... Kanan Smith is way bigger. He's at least got a couple songs on the radio that I know. You know, Love You Like That and uh, Hole in the Bottle. Uh, you know, he's at least got a few. Morgan Wallen, I'm sure, does too. They're just not coming to my mind right now. But I definitely recognize his name. And then uh, the other band on there is something called or someone called Hardy. And uh, I don't know who that is. But like I said, that's what's really fucking cool about this. Is This is a dude I've never heard of who's joining this massive tour with the biggest country stars in the world so yeah this this looks fucking awesome i'm definitely gonna try to hit it when it comes to my area it's coming to one of the bigger venues it's playing fiddler's green uh down in denver uh florida georgia line plays there quite frankly last time they played there they brought uh cole swindell the cadillac three and kane brown so like i said they make events out of all their tours that they're doing mostly they're not like these bands that just take one or two there's nothing wrong with that, but they almost make they almost put emphasis on the fact that they're going to bring a whole lineup with them each time they go on tour. And I fucking love that and these dudes are they they put on an awesome live show. That's all I got to say. They did this thing one of the last times I saw them, uh which was in 2016 where their encore was like a montage type thing where they were crossing genres playing country and like country countryish versions of country-ish versions of other other songs they play backstreet boys and papa roach and like def leopard i think and it was fucking cool and they're an arena band so you know they're gonna bring you know a crazy stage setup and some pyro shit and that's always fun so the you the can't say i'm not country tour uh, by Florida Georgia Line. Sorry, my mind blanked there for a sec. Can't say I ain't country tour. Florida Georgia Line, Kane and Smith, Morgan Wallen, Dan and Shay, and Hardy. Coming to a city near you, make sure to check the description for a link to the full tour dates and ticket information. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell. And uh, check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash concertaddiction, and my website, concertaddiction.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.